Hi everyone, as promised for this month, I am back with another kitchen related upcycle. So today I thought of uh, doing a project which is more of a pill buster. I came across it on Pinterest and I tried it and I think it's come out pretty well. So here's how I did it. While working with glass bottles, I always make it a point to prime the bottles with chalk paint. So to convert any acrylic paint into chalk paint, just add a small quantity of plaster of Paris or POP to it and then you'll have your chalk paint. Now the trick to having a good chalk paint is that you blend it really really well leaving no lumps of POP and you also have to make sure that the mixture isn't too dry. The reason for choosing chalk paint over acrylic or any other uh, paint to prime the glass bottles is because uh, chalk paint adheres very well to glass and there is no peeling or flaking of any kind. So if the consistency of your chalk paint is right, even a single coat would suffice as a primer. Here is the napkin that I have chosen and as you can see the na pattern of the napkin is very busy and so that is the reason I won't be running a wet brush through it to separate the motifs like I normally do. So I'll just cut out the motifs with a pair of scissors. Now you need to cut as close to the motifs as possible leaving very little or almost no extra napkin on the edge. And you will know why we need to do this as we continue the project. So once you've finished cutting the next step is you very carefully uh, need to separate the plies. Keep only the top printed layer now place the cutouts uh, somewhere around the middle of the bottle and position them as you like chalk paint unlike acrylic paint is a little coarse to the touch and holds the napkin quite in place and the napkin being very thin we don't need to apply any glue underneath but with a flat brush start applying it over it moving from the center outward straightening the napkin as you go. This is the bottle after having pasted all the cutouts. As you see the bottle now is roughly divided into two parts. The trick is to use a contrasting lighter shade of paint for the top portion uh, to that being used for the lower portion and since we will be using black on the lower portion, I opted for this color. I am using a beige shade. You could easily uh, leave the top part white, that looks good as well. I dab the paint onto the bottle as close to the motifs as possible using the sponge dabber. Now you would want to use a very fine brush and fill in all the gaps. This is where the crisp cutting of the motifs helps. If you leave too much extra napkin around, and paint over it, it looks very shabby and untidy. Here's how the completed bottle looks. I found the motifs a bit dull against the background and so to make the colors pop out, I used a dry brush and some distress ink and highlighted them. Whenever doing a decoupage project, the trick to getting it right is to achieve as perfect an inlay as possible and for this, distress inks are far better for such touch-ups than using acrylic paints. 
so I suggest you invest in some distress inks if you want a good final product. Lastly, seal the bottle with a coat of water-based wood varnish and you're done.